Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Do you sometimes get that feeling, I, I want to draw something, I don't know what to draw. A day goes by and you haven't drawn something and you really deep inside know that if I want to get better at drawing, I need to practice. Well, in those moments, you need to have a standby. First of all, you need a sketchbook because if you've got to go and open drawers and cupboards and get pads out and things like that, you're not going to be bothered and another day will go by. So make sure you always have a sketchbook within reach, have a pen or a pencil attached to it so that you don't have to go looking for one. And you can then just open up your sketchbook so then you are greeted with a blank page and you go, mm, I can't think what to draw. So in my last video, I showed you how to uh, make a little template like this. And what you do is you stick it over and you draw little squares. That's something. So immediately you've started drawing something and then you can start filling up the page with these little practice drawings, just trying out little patterns and things like that. So creating pages of patterns like this actually serves four really important purposes when it comes to getting better at drawing. First, you are actually drawing, you are practicing drawing and you are actually doing something. So that day hasn't gone by without you drawing. And if you want to get better at drawing, you really do need to draw something every day. It's about getting a, a pen or pencil in your hand and actually making marks on paper. If you want to get better, that is really important. Secondly, it's about getting these little ideas into your head, these patterns. Patterns are ideas. And, and once you kind of started working on one little pattern, you think, what happens if I add that pattern to this pattern? And it's, it's about little ideas building and growing. And once you've got these patterns in your head that you just do them without thinking, then when you actually start drawing other things, objects and scenes, you think I can just use that pattern in that space. So when you start drawing other things like, you know, sort of landscapes or portraits and you kind of reach a little area and think, what am I going to do in there? You think I can use that little pattern that I practiced so many times. And in fact, you won't even have to think about it. You will just do it automatically. And number three, this, these exercises really improve your muscle memory. What's that all about? There are maybe many things that you've tried in the past, like maybe learning to play the piano or, or uh, you know, playing baseball, cricket, something like that. And you think, yeah, I just hit the ball. I just dun, 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 play a tune. And then you go there and you're all fingers and thumbs and you just try to hit the ball and then <laughs> it doesn't really work. It's all about building up this connection between your fingers and your brain. It's not just the fingers, it's the point at the end of the pencil or the pen. And the more you do something, and sometimes it's really, really hard and you have to really think about it when you start off and make those little curves or little wiggles and, and, and it's really difficult and your hand doesn't want to do it because it's never done it before. But if you do it for a week or so, <laughs> keep practicing, psh, you don't have to think about it because your hand, the muscles in your hand kind of build this kind of memory of, oh yeah, that's how we make that mark. And so you don't have to think about it. And so you can be thinking about the actual, the whole drawing rather than this little mark that you're trying to create. And finally, number four is all about fine motor skills. Doing little drawings is nice and easy. It's quick. You're not daunted by a gigantic page. You can think, I have only got to fill in that small space, uh, but it means you've got to be quite precise about it. And you kind of think about the lines and where are they going to go and how you're going to fit this shape or the pattern into that little space. And that is all about fine motor skills. And the more that you practice, the more that you try drawing. If you just kind of scribble every day, that's not going to work. You have to really think about it and think, right, I need to be doing lines like this. And I need to take my time. And I need to curve it like that at the end of the week after you've done it a few times, then you'll be doing it much more quickly and accurately. So that's what fine motor skills are all about. If you click up here, you will uh, find a link which will take you to my previous video showing you how to cut out a template like this. And if you look in the description box below or click up here now, you'll also find a link to my next video where I will go through uh, lots of little patterns to share with you. If you can't wait to get started, I will scan this and put this on my Patreon page so that you've got something to look at and get going with. I've been making videos here for over 11 years and I've right from the start, I've always said, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And honestly, if you want to get better at drawing, it does mean you need to draw every day. 
And that shouldn't be a chore. If you want to get better at drawing, then you'll want to draw something. But, you know, we are human beings and sometimes we go, oh, I can't think what to draw. And I do myself and I've been drawing for a very long time. So having these little exercises that you don't have to think about, you can just go straight to, you can immediately pick up your sketchbook, pick up your pen and start drawing. And the really interesting thing is that once you start, and you start filling in those little squares and you're doing the little patterns, you suddenly your brain will go, I've just had this idea. And you'll want to put your book away and get a new sheet of paper out and start exploring this new idea. And, and that is how it works. So a lot of the time, the reason you maybe you're not progressing is because you're not actually drawing. And once you just start actually handling a pen or a pencil on a piece of paper and you're making marks, your brain kicks in. And then wants to move on to something bigger and better. And that's where the really big ideas come out. So get yourself a sketchbook, <laughs> get yourself a pen, and commit to every day, just 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, just sit down with a cup of coffee or something like that. And just, just a little bit of quiet time on your own. And suddenly you'll find that quarter of an hour has stretched maybe to half an hour or maybe even a whole afternoon. Thanks for watching and look, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and come back next time and I'll run through some of these patterns with you and uh, get you started on these exercises if you haven't started already. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.